Mm. Yeah, she's quite nice. Mm. Very nice. the rest of my fresh meat and half of the cooked guinea fowl in the pot. We don't have bears around here but we have a big black labrador that loves to come around at night and eat all your food. One fallen branch. Fresh building materials. Ultimate recycling. Garlic mustard. Mm. Very must mustardy, like, like a mustard salad leaf, and then you get the flavour of. Um, garlic come through afterwards. It's kind of one that you would want to mix in with, um, with other flowers, uh, other flowers, other flowers and salad leaves, maybe some lime leaves. Just give it a little kick mixed in with the other stuff. Not so strong flavours. Yeah, but nice. Quite an easy one to recognise. Now I spotted these and so on. The spotted leaves and I thought oh this might be trout lily but <laughs> my little book doesn't have trout lily in and I'm fairly sure that a trout lily has a single flower 
So this, I think, is an orchid because it has that typical orchid flower. It's got the little landing strip for the bee to rest on. Uh, and then a little overhang where it deposits the pollen on its back after it's had its feed from the cup inside there. So I shall have to check this out when I get back. This is pretty. This purplish flower amongst all the bluebells. But there are plenty of spotty leaves. So there's obviously more of them here. They're just not flowering. Beautiful, I think. That's another one. I was fairly sure, certain that this was um, a violet, so I had a quick look in my little my book here, and that's just showing flowers and one little leaf at a funny angle now. Translate that to what's in front here, and um, there's no flowers, and the leaves all over similar yeah, you have to try and get it at the same sort of angle to to see but then these look a lot paler than the picture in the book but having a quick search around there is one <laughs> single half dried up flower there it's got the two little bunny ears at the top and three petals underneath and there's definitely a little stripe here centre to the flower there and if you look back at the picture yeah, there's two bunny ears, three petals at the bottom and a stripe bit at the bottom so this is Sweet Violet absolutely no idea what this is, it's not in my book, but I have not noticed these little flowers previously, and it's what caught my eye, because there's one on the top, and then four around the sides, making a cube, which is really bizarre. Quite a cute little flare really, but it's so insignificant amongst the rest of the leaves on the floor. Yeah. Intriguing. And most children, school children know this. know it as sticky weed or goose grass or cleavers it's the stuff that's got little hooks on that sticks to your clothes etc if you uh, take the very very youngest shoots off the top Because um, if you get the older ones, then it is like trying to eat fairy things. Um, but you get almost like a nutty taste, sweet nutty taste. That's actually nice, quite nice.
Very sweet. Mm. There's something you don't see every day. White bluebell. Looks like elm in flower. Yeah, smoking pipe. That's definitely smoking one. Yeah. It's all coming your way now. Got Sir John in the corner then. Nickel. Hiding away. Yeah, this camera's Rubbish in the dark. Keeps going out of focus. Guy, it? <coughs> Has it got a night setting? No. Oh. It's only a cheap one. Yeah, but... I bought one for the wife and I can't mm. set it up. We can't get to download the program. So I can uh, upload them. Oh, it's, yeah, it's pain when people don't know technology. I have my husband today saying... If I take photos on my phone, the phone that I gave him, how do I um, how do I get um, those pictures so I can have them forever? I said, oh, no, you have to get the wire and then I have to put them on the computer. But oh, I said, oh, I better start taking pictures. <laughs> Louise and Erin. Smile. <laughs> bright lights. Bright lights. <laughs> so you're going out of focus again. Well, that's better. Have my cowboy coffee, Dean. Right, just back there. Huh? Doing some breakfast before we pack up the rest of the gear and get off home for our Sunday luncheon for the sector. And I have to say a big thank you to um, Steinway Goat for showing me how to drive my wood yesterday so I can make the huge chicken. <laughs> Thanks mate, see you later.